What is up, everybody? My name is Kyle, man, and we are still playing with this Luby new toy. No, nope, we'll back. There. There we go. Take that, whatever you were protecting. No, this is open. That guy died. Now let's check if there's more question marks laying around. And that is can't open that one. Let's see over here really quick. This one's open. <laughs> Calendar Man. Good old Calendar Man. Fixa fixated on the calendar, Julian Day became Calendar Man, a villain who, t who timid and tied his crimes thematically to certain holidays. Throughout the year, often leaving clues to which could lead, which he could be caught. Gotham City hopes for a date, often clouded by the knowledge of his holiday, likely to be shadowed by Calendar Man's presence. Julian Day. <laughs> so. These crazy guys are supposed to take me out, right? I thought I made them easy to find. I guess not. Sad. Okay, that's nothing. I'm making sure there wasn't something. Prometheus, Arkham Guards, most wanted, most hated. See anything? Okay, so I'll move over here. a panel. Hmm. Look has finally turned up. The Dark Knight himself. How's it hanging, Babs? Oh, there it is. Thank you. 
You're safe now. You going after that crazy witch? I saw her heading out of the door as we got out of the room. She won't get away. I'll stop her and then her boyfriend. Good. Listen, I'll go try and get the ventilation system working. If you find her, don't go easy on her. From me. You're expecting congratulations? Come on, try and catch me. Did you see him back there? What was that thing he used? No idea. He saved our lives. That's all I need to know. Did the other one open up? No, it did not. Of course it didn't. Why would it? Probably a way around it, though. So this opened up here. What does this do? No idea what I just broke. Patient's name is Victor Saez. For the record, the patient has transferred from Dr. Cassidy, who is on leave after the incident last week. Hello, Victor. Please take a seat. Guards, you can leave us. Sorry, Doctor. Warden's orders. I can't leave you alone with him. I understand. Hello, Victor. How are you feeling today? Victor, I can't help you if you don't speak. Depressed. Does that help you? Can you get into my... Mind, Doctor. Why depressed? I'm just thinking about the one that got away. The one that I chose. I needed the mark. I want the mark! Yep. Definitely crazy. This may take a while. The system's locked me out. Thanks, Batman. You're welcome, buddy. So it's able something over here. Does that mean over here is unlocked? Because nope, nope, still doesn't make any damn sense. Um... Why they go somewhere, but I don't know where. I might have to come back for that. That's locked. Okay, that was a oh hello. Oh hello. What's up? Ah ha ha. But I can't get to there. Can I? No, it's too far.
<laughs> All right. Not a good idea yet. Oh. Need to get those fans going. All right. Shit, I can't get over there. Dang it. All right. All right, we're going to get this down. Sneak around in here. The sneaking vent technique. That was fun. about Prometheus. I don't know what the hell it's talking about. There is no way up. So, I'm just going to get the hell out of here. This is a trap. I can see you. District Attorney Harvey Dent was Batman's strongest allies in God one of Batman's strongest allies in Gotham City until the criminal threw acid in Dent's face, hideously hideously scarring him. The wounds fractured his psyche and he was reborn as a schizoid criminal mastermind obsessed with duality. His former good luck charm, a two headed trick silver dollar, was damaged on the one side in the attack and Dent was has seized on it as a reflection of his half scarred visage. Visage. He flips it to the side the fates of his victims, despite Batman's efforts to reform his former ally. Dent is consumed by his fixation on chance, and his crimes are designed to prove out his diametric philosophy. So obviously, super smart, just nuts. Obviously nuts.
That was easy. Scary if you were, well, scary. Where are you? You are over here. I see you now. <laughs> I don't know why they even bothered or why they did that, but they did. It's another Riddler trophy found. That takes care of that. Because I'm Batman. Alone yourself, what do you do? Break the ice with the most dangerous thing. Victor Freeze was a brilliant cryogenics who loved his beloved wife, Nora. Whose beloved wife, Nora, was stricken with a fatal degenerative disease. He placed her in suspended animation while obsessively researching a for a way to cure her, but the corporation that funded his research and Nora's life pulled the plug, triggering an accident that transformed Freeze's body into a cold-blooded form that must always be kept below zero. At normal room temperature, he will die. Wielding a number of freezing weapons, he wears protective armor on his quest to somehow bring back his lovely wife and avenge her fate, which he partially holds Batman responsible for. Which makes little sense, really. Do do do, yeah, that's Mr. Freeze. Well, this is where I need to be. Uh, yeah. Here he comes, Mr. J. Excellent. I'll leave it to you then, my dear. Get him!
Bleib! Do not punch me! I'm Batman! Bad for her. <laughs> hey, hands off the merchandise. That's my party list. Quiet. Why the smiles next to certain names? You're the detective, you tell me. scanner to only show prints that have traces of chlorophyll. Okay, listen. Be careful. I rerouted a Wayne Tech satellite to show thermal scans of the island. The gardens are showing up hot. Something bad is happening there. <sighs> New way! Stuck. I just want the map. Oh, here we go. Up the stairs and nothing but bears, and we make cushion could do sound. Victor has been in isolation since the attack on the guard last week. Uh -huh. As I wait for him to be brought up to me, I have had time to review his notes. I am increasingly worried he cannot be cured. He has no empathy for his victims. Deep down, I believe he used all of us as potential victims. Doc, are you okay? What's happening? Meet Zaz. He broke out of isolation. He's gone. Oh, God! Don't worry, Doc. You're in the safest place. He's definitely left the island. Of course. But someone needs to alert the authorities. He'll need to kill again. Do you understand me? He needs to. Oh, no. He's gone after Dr. Cassidy. Sarah, it's Gretchen. Listen to me. Hold on. There's someone at the door. Sarah, do not answer the door. Can you hear me? Do not answer the door. It says he's free. Now is the end of her. Wow, there's a, there's a lot of characters you can find in this game. Obviously, I like it. You're operational. 
Oh, you're the one with the riddle in it. Disco. I think that's it. There we go. Now I feel better. <laughs> I keep breaking those. It's like it's funny. It's funny for me. I'm <laughs> like that wall looks suspicious. Hello. My family's killer stood in front of me. Years of therapy have deemed him sane. I was proud to see him walk free. In exchange for his liberty, the state required only a signature. He talked about wanting to walk in a park, how he longed to feel fresh air on his face. And then he took my father's fountain pen and killed my secretary. As he was subdued, he screamed out, pleading for forgiveness, for pity. But I had none. I watched as guards beat him to a stain on the floor. Wow. Somebody went nuts. Oh. Capital. <laughs> what? How did you get out of there? Uh, number one, I'm Batman. Number two, you're a nerd. Does it show the... Yeah, it shows where the riddles are. Oops. Straight ahead. That is a camera. It's still locked. Nothing's working. 
I'll have to take care of it eventually. But that's it for this episode. I'm having lots of fun being the Batman. Who would be the food to make this fun? Bad. So, again, thank you so much for watching. I'll be back with more Batman in the next episode.